start without me <clears throat> welcome to drinks with ron i'm ron and this isn't a drink but i'm gonna have one because that's you know it's in the name the third and final old milwaukee of tonight boy it's been a doozy of a few weeks a week and a half i don't wanna, I don't wanna sound dramatic but uh but yeah Where are we? Where is Sunday? So about 10 days ago, I had a heart attack. That's not a joke. <clears throat> Now, I know I've been joking around about it, <clears throat> both on this show and on the Outsider Social Club podcast for a long time. But you see, I've been joking around about it because uh, it was a legit fear. It was some weird feelings in my heart um you know i take my my pulse every once in a while which probably isn't a thing most people who are unconcerned do but uh i'd taken my pulse a couple times and found like a weird rhythm i don't know not sure what was going on but let's just say it was in the back of my mind and as well if you've seen many of my fast food themed episodes you'll know i ate a lot of fucking garbage man Now, I uh, have been dropping weight. So if you go and scroll through the you know nearly 300 episodes of Drinks with Ron, you'll see I've probably dropped over 40 pounds since the beginning of the show. But um, you can cut calories and get exercise and drop weight, but all those calories aren't created equal. Uh, yeah, 200 calories worth of uh, carrots and 200 calories worth of McDonald's don't have the same effect on your arteries. Let's just say that. So, um, said about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks now, uh, I'm on vacation. Uh, I was supposed to go somewhere for vacation. That didn't happen. But uh, I had some rib issues. Don't want to get into that. But let's just say my ribs were all fucked up for quite some time. So even though I do tons of yard work, landscaping, I'm literally changing uh, the hills, digging holes, uh, planting, changing everything. Uh, so I haven't done that in a while. Finally, I was feeling good enough where I could get outside, work a rake, work a shovel, dig a big hole, transfer a whole bunch of dirt, rake it level, throw down some grass seed, and make a whole new piece of land. So uh, that's what I started doing. So first day out there, it's pretty hot. I was out there for eight hours and had uh, pain in my chest. But you know, like I said, I fucked up mainly the left side of my chest. I had had some weird pains in there. I thought I'm twisting, I'm bending, I'm shoveling, I'm doing breaking, I'm doing all this shit. So, you know, it's probably just a muscle thing, but it was a weird pain that I've never had before. Um, it was accompanied by some chest pain that like, breathing was became weird so finally I went outside um, I went to the front porch and I kind of leaned over the railing um, put my head down and then what do you know I was able to get my air back and I thought man you know that's a pinched nerve or a something something muscle and I don't like that but I didn't think I was dying so that first day I did about eight hours of yard work got that part way through the day By the end of the night, I said it had gone away, I felt fine. Uh, the next day, it rained all day, so I laid around on the couch watching a lot of Star Wars. It was uh, delightful. But then the day after that, it was nice again. So I was out in the yard for six hours that day. Uh, at one point, it got really hot. My dog, Nash, call him Norm when he's an asshole, so he's called Norm a lot. He, uh, I was digging and shoveling and raking. I want to get done. You know, my whole goal was to be done with the entire yard before we left for vacation, grass seed and all. 
So it's super hot, it's humid, I'm sweating like a bastard, and Norm goes to the back door to go in the house. And I'm like, that guy don't ever want to go in. You know what? You're right. Let's take a break. Went inside, hit that cold air, took a break, lay down on the couch, passed out for two hours. I woke up, started having those chest pains. No, 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 I didn't have those chest pains. Um, I got almost all the yard work done, completely finished, and I decided, fuck this, I've been working my ass off. I got uh, 14 hours out here in the last three days. Grass seeds in, everything's raked, burning a stump, getting it all ready, gotta get ready for Rontoberfest. And I thought, I'm gonna reward myself. I went and bought a 30 pack of Old Milwaukee Light. I got a bucket full of scraps from the local uh, double wide trailer production facility that I could use to start a fire. I sat out back, I got nice and fucked up, pounded about four beers, started a little fire, took the speaker out there, listened to the Nostalgia Pit podcast, which I enjoy thoroughly, uh, burned one, and then I decided I should probably go in. Uh, it's getting towards bedtime. So I go in, uh, get in bed, we start watching Clipped, the series on Hulu about the LA Clippers and their racist asshole of an owner, Donald Sterling. If you know the backstory, it's definitely worth a watch. Even if you don't, my wife doesn't know it, she's enjoying it. I'm laughing super hard when they're playing the clips of him and I'm telling her, no, these are real clips. When he says, and then she blows me and I thank her for making me feel good. What's wrong with that? Like, yeah, these are real things this guy said in depositions to lawyers and whatnot. It's all recorded. But let me digress. We're watching, uh, I think we're in probably the second episode, laying in bed. And uh, I go get a whole bunch of shit. Because like I said, I share some uh, fudge sickles. and a fudge sickle. And some other, other. Uh, oh, I pork down like half a bag of fucking Cool Ranch Doritos. Because clearly. Um... So yeah, by the second episode, I start having this pain back. And this time the breath is getting real short. So um, it's weird, because I'm like, I'm in bed, I'm not moving. How am I short of breath now? But again, six hours in the yard that day, I thought I'd fucked up my ribs. So I watched a couple more episodes, porked down some more fucking chips, went to sleep. Felt fine, woke up a couple times in the night, had to let the dogs out, had to take a leak, blah, 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 all's cool. I sleep in late the next day, get up like 10, 30, 11, get out of bed, take the dogs outside. And by the time I hit the back door, the fucking pain is back and it's back with a vengeance. And I'm like, you know what? This is fucking weird. This ain't right. I'm going in right now. So I didn't shower before bed. So I said, I was working in the yard all day, mowing shit. My feet are all fucking green from grass. I'm sweaty. I smell terrible. I fucking throw in my Crocs. I don't bother to grab socks, go into the hospital. Uh, grab the shittiest ripped up pair of boxers I got. What difference does it make? You're having a heart attack. Go in there. So of course on the way in I have to make the ultimate joke because if you're gonna die, you gotta go out on a great joke. So I message my family and say, hey, just call me Billy Joel because I'm apparently having a heart attack. Heck, 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 heck. Um, well, so my family understands that's how I operate. So. I think they understood, but I sent that to a few other people who thought it was, oh, it's July 4th. Ron's super fucked up already at 11 o'clock, and this is some weird joke that I don't get. It's fine. But no, in fact, I sent that to my supervisor because I thought, you know, that's how work should find out. Um, so yeah, I go in, I tell them I have them chest pains, they don't even bother to check me in, they take me right back. These people, uh, the Lancaster Grant Regional they're fucking awesome. They get me right back in there. Boom. They're fucking prepping me, man. They're shaving my wrist. Uh, they're getting everything. They're shaving parts of my chest where the sticky pads got to go. Of course, we got to get in there and shave part of the leg in case the wrist doesn't work. So, you know, half a dozen people saw my dick that day, which, you know, like I said, it's more of a grower situation. So I didn't, uh, I don't think I impressed anyone. I was like, no, wait, you know, you give it a chance. It'll get up there. But uh, so yeah, they got me all prepped and ready, got in the ambulance, they flew me down, uh, cause of course we don't have a top tier, uh, heart stent treatment facility here in my small town. They send me down to the next state, they're all prepped, uh, they take me in, they basically wheel me in, boom, they hit the wrist, they start running the lines, they go in through my wrist to get to the heart to put in the stents, cause of course, I said, fucking eating garbage for 25 years, what, what do you expect? I mean... 
people like to, oh, this happened and oh, did this cause? No, I ate shit for 25 years. It's my fault. It's, there's nothing more you can say. You know, a whole bunch of high cholesterol garbage, didn't take any pills for it. I had a vein, uh, an artery, 98% norm. Hey, buddy, come on up. So I had an artery 98% blocked. That was clearly an issue. So they went in to deal with that, put in a stent. They found another one. They put the dye through there. They keep you awake through the whole process um, because, you know, they don't want to slow your heart, shit like that. Um, so they found another one was 80% blocked. So boom, two fucking stents in there. Sick. Went to the Lancaster Hospital at 11. I think I was, uh, was in Dubuque before 12. Like 1.30, I was out of surgery. Fucking in through the wrist, locked everything down, two stents, fucking wheel me out. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, I was actually going to do an episode from in the hospital, but I decided that's probably... Uh, honestly, I would have done it. I felt fine. I was anxious because I can't ever stop moving. I'm like adult ADD. I have to constantly move around and do something. Hey, buddy. Love you, too. Um, so holding still. Not, not my forte is what I'm saying. But I thought I'm in bed, I got time. I was gonna record an episode, but I figured I'd get interrupted and, uh, yeah. yeah to, to talk to a camera by yourself, you have to be, there has to be a confidence. You can't be like looking over your shoulder, feeling like you're gonna be perceived as a weirdo by somebody who sees you, takes you all out of the flow. So, so I was just like, you know what, fuck it. Um, so yeah, this is that episode. Said so two stents in, I had a meeting with the guy last week, the surgeon, he's fucking amazing. And uh, initially he basically said he was gonna hold off until cardiac rehab saw me because cardiac rehab was gonna, they'd be the ones that would tell me what I could and couldn't do. So I went down there last week and I'm like, well, you know, kind of what, when can I start to, I know I've been sitting around for three days on the couch watching Star Wars, not moving. Again, not my forte. I want to be up doing things. And he's just like, oh, I'm removing all restrictions. It's like, you got here in time. Everything was was still going, you know, you've had minimal, minimal heart damage, I believe is what he said, almost no damage. So he's like, you're good to go. So, probably not the thing to say to me because I was taking everything super, I'm still taking everything super serious. I got to... I gotta change the diet. I got a lot of shit I gotta do. Um, if you think that means I'm not gonna drink beers anymore, well, that's where you'd be wrong. Cause I'm just, what life worth living if you give up all the things. I said, I ate enough garbage for 25 years. I'm okay giving that up. But uh, then I started doing the math, you know, 45. It took 45 years of eating straight garbage and not, uh, not, not taking anything for cholesterol. It took 45 years to get those filled up. Well, now they're wide open. So theoretically, I got another 45 years of eating garbage and doing nothing about it. Theoretically. I said, there's another one still partially blocked. The, you know, the third one's still lingering. So we're not going to do that. But I figure, when I change the diet, I drop the McDonald's, we get rid of all the salt. Um, you know, red meat, something I've been wanting to cut way back on anyway, just because I, I like cows, I like them, I think they're cool. I feel bad eating a cow. Um, pigs, I'm a little bit indifferent. Chicken, bird, turkey, I'll fuck those, I'll fuck those guys right up. They're, they're little dinosaurs. Chicken's a dinosaur, man, go, go check that TED talk. Um, yeah, I'll fuck one of them up, I'll cut their head off, Rip out their entrails, fucking dress them, chop up the carcass, roll it in flour, and deep fry it. Well, I should bake it now. Um, but that's the difference. So, like I said, there's some changes I should have been making anyway. Um, I'm gonna, I'll cut back on the drinking. I ain't gonna stop that. You know, the cocaine's probably not, not great. So, you know, I've skipped that. That's what just killed me. All the shit I've done in my life. Than half the drugs under the sun, you know, weed, coke, uh, uh, acid, mushrooms, uh, mescaline, you know, you name it. I'm gonna get done in by McDonald's. That's what's gonna get me. I mean, like, 
Yeah, I'm a, oh, well, oh, the drugs finally caught up to Ron, huh? No. Uh, number six supersized caught up to Ron. Fuck. How lame is that, you know? OD, there's a bit of magic to that. Yeah. John Belushi, Chris Farley, there's some mystique. But uh, if Farley had just, you know, <laughs> dropped after a two cheeseburger meal, it would have been different. Anyway, um, I think we're caught up to speed. That's what happened. That's why I've been gone. Um, we'll make some changes here. But uh, for the most part, it's business as usual. So for drinks with Ron, oh shit. I ran long, but I don't want to pay a dollar. You got a dollar, Norm? All right, fuck it. Oh, that's terrible beer, and I owe a dollar. So for drinks with Ron, I'm Ron. Signing off.